hey loves welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video for you guys and today here i have a dip powder video i am using double dip i will have a link down below with a coupon code along with on the screen so i am using their three steps first step is the base coat and then i'm just gonna dip it in to this dip powder tray i am doing a total of two coats on camera and one off so a total of three and this is just a really easy method that i came up with it's super simple all you need is a nail stand some full coverage nails and that is all it takes literally more than less than half the time that it takes if you were to do it the traditional way this is just an easy method that I just decided to come up with because I was wondering what are like what is a way that I can create dip powder nails in a very like easy not that time consuming matter and I definitely love this method because it's just super easy literally you just place a full coverage nail on a nail stand you dip it into the powder you dust it off each time and you keep it moving so here i'm just showing you the process for all the nails and it's really simple and easy if you guys decide to try out this method that i came up with let me know or tag me on any of my social medias i would love to see so yeah that is what i am doing here and this color is absolutely stunning it's so beautiful and i just really like double dip they're a great company you know and I've been working with them for a while now. So I absolutely love their dip powders and you can also use them. These are a two in one, so you can also use them with monomer as acrylic as well, which I don't use them in that way, but it is an option as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below and I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. And remember, after applying every layer, allow it to settle in for a couple seconds and then go ahead and dust it off and then place the base on the nail again and re-dip because if you don't dust off your nails in between, your brush will harden. So yeah, that is just a tip to always remember because I know sometimes in the past I've definitely forgotten to. So after I'm done, I'm just going in with some activator and this just ensures that the nails compose all together and are strong and hard and are ready for shaping and filing so that is what i'm briefly doing here and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial i absolutely love doing dip powder nails in this way just because it's just so much easier and i love anything that's easy and that isn't time consuming so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying so far So now we're moving on to the shaping and one of my favorite things about using this particular method is that it's not very time consuming when it comes to shaping. You literally just have to do minimal shaping and buffing and you're done and ready to go. So that's one thing I really love that it doesn't take as much time doing the shaping and buffing of the nails. So yeah, that is what I'm doing here for every nail and let me know down below what you guys thought about this particular nail look i really wanted to go for something really pretty but simple so that is what i decided to do here and i love this color i don't know if it was really picking up the right way but it's like a tarot color it's very beautiful and it's very glittery very very beautiful so here i'm just going in one more time with activator i always like to do this after shaping and filing so then after this step i'm going to get right into some nail stickers that i decided to place on the nails so here i'm gonna go in and apply some nail art stickers and these are some really cute fuchsia pink dior stickers that i'm going to be applying towards the free edge of the nails well i'm actually obviously just picking two because those are the nails i wanted which was the index finger i'm sorry which was the index finger along with the ring finger and i did mattify these out as well where i put on these stickers and then the rest were glossy i did decide this time around to use my own top coats so yeah this is a really simple look that i think it's very versatile and can be worn all throughout the year and i just thought it was really pretty and this color really called spring for me like it really reminded me of spring and i wanted to add some flowers to this but i didn't really know where to place them sometimes 
because the thing is when i'm creating content it's like off the bat i don't plan them ahead of time it's just okay i'm gonna decide what video i'm doing and then as i'm creating the nails i'm creating the look so i did want to add flowers and incorporate that dior with flowers but i just didn't know how to do it um maybe in the near future though i can do something like that i think it would look really really nice so here i'm just applying the base coats and i do have a discount code for nail addict la so it will be on the screen and linked down below for you all as well and now i'm just going in with my favorite matte top coat which is babe nail it's literally 3.99 on amazon and i'm just going to go ahead and apply it onto the rest of the nails and then we're going to move on to the following step So this is all for today's tutorial. I'm just going to be applying this cuticle oil and that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my content and always showing so much love. It means so much to me. Thank you so much once again. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next time.